one of the things I like about Keith is he's just very fun and light and a bit like a, word, a magician with words. He just loves to tell stories and um, those who are interacting with him learn a lot. I really didn't know, you know, what to expect or anything and um, I just found it really, yeah, he's just an amazing person. Just you're coming up just feeling so much more positive about yourself and, you know, feel like He's made me put my control more into my life and mm -hmm. oh, I'm going to embrace life and enjoy it and go out there and have fun. Come with a specific issue or request? No, or not at all. I came really, uh, yeah, you know, with a very open mind, not knowing what to expect. And then somehow through the conversation he kind of put his finger on where my pain is, I suppose. <laughs> yeah, he just gave me this whole new way of looking at at love and at relationships mm -hmm. and sex and yeah, it's amazing. Wow. Yeah, he showed me sort of like exchanging energy and then I was doing it myself wow. and yes, it was it was amazing. <laughs> and you've never really looked at that sort of no, stuff. No, I've never. I've never, you know, my mum's very into energy and mm -hmm. things like that, and I've always been open to to that, but I've never, it's never been something that I've done myself. Mm. So it was amazing. Yeah, absolutely amazing. And I feel like now I've learned all these secrets <laughs> mm. about relationships and... Yeah. I do, I feel really, I feel really good. I feel like this is, yeah, this big weight has been lifted out of. I came in here with really bad heart palpitations and oh. and I feel really I feel really relaxed and and um, yeah, good about myself, yeah. Come out of it with any specific actions or Definitely. Decision. Definitely that I should continue on my path of change. Screw the job and get alive. <laughs> <laughs> Let's put that on a bumper sticker. Screw the job and get alive. <laughs> yeah, no, song. it's definitely finding a better balance. Yeah. Mm. yeah, I'm an analyst. I work with my mind, and yeah, I don't often think with my heart. And that's, I think he, uh, he got that pretty straightforward, clear for me. And I never thought of it that way, but it's exactly as it is. But you know, I just know that Keith has really like turned a key on me for in some reason. And spirituality, I've just, I would have just so poo hooed at me one hit. Well, that's their belief, but. I just felt that energy right at the end there when Keith was, he asked us if we got anything to say and I, he said always oh, going and I just felt that energy again, it's like top of my head it was. And, it was, and he, I asked Keith at Bali what, what he, well, I knew something was different about me and I, the next morning, that was after that night, I, I loved my bed, I was up at half six o'clock, out at ten a lot, but he looking at ten four. And I knew it was different. And it was just like something is awakening in me at all. I just had this real deep sense of calm and centeredness and knowing where I come from and why I've chosen to be in the life that I'm in in this life and what I'm working through and the gifts that I have to offer in the world. And it really reconnected me with that and helped me heal from a lot of pain that I've had in this particular life. I came here looking for help with with my son and his girlfriend in, in the relationship, but it actually ended up me looking at myself. Mm. <laughs> and he's so easy to talk to, and like, yeah, I thought I was quite open. Well, I thought I was quite open, but obviously I'm not. <laughs> and he, yeah, he got to, he got me to see it. it was the biggest thing, like, yeah, yeah mm -hmm. just, but he's so easy to talk to. So. Do you laugh with and cry? And... Um, he's quite a spiritual person, um, which is good. Um, yeah, I think it's just um, helps you understand things a bit more. Um, understand um, how would I describe it? Understand. He makes you understand yourself more. Mm. He seems to have his finger on everybody's pulse and um, 
stuff that you don't realise about yourself, or well, you probably do, but yeah, sometimes I need a bit of a sleep. I was really lucky to have a one-on-one -on -one session with him. And I've always been someone who's been very sort of frightened of anything spiritual, having grown up in a pretty spiritual family that I found a bit scary. And I wasn't expecting to have a session with him which would get into that kind of stuff. I thought we'd just talk about my life and my career and money issues and relationships. But I ended up finding myself doing some past life work with him, which was way out of my comfort zone. But um, I really found myself completely trusting him and completely believing the process. It felt completely real. Most of the information came from myself, not from him. I didn't feel pushed into anything. And it was totally life-changing. And at the end of that session, I stood up and I'd connected with who I really am. And I felt really, really, really powerful. Well, yeah, he certainly reminds you how wonderful you are. Because a lot of the time, people can't see how right they get it. They can only see how wrong they get it. And he really has reminded me that I am okay. <laughs> Or more than okay, actually. Mm. It's like probably empowered would be the word. I feel really empowered now to that I've learnt this knowledge and, and learnt mm. things about myself that now I can go and and love freely and know who I am. I look forward now to playing with that and to getting some more guidance from Keith. I don't look to him as a guru or any kind of we must do what Keith says at all. I look to him as a fun guy, he's a bit of a trickster and a joker and a buddy and a friend. But he's also deeply wise and he's connected to some very, very powerful and loving uh, spirits or energy, whatever you want to call them, who I really trust. And um, I really look forward to learning more from Keith and his support team.